Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is kind of a different Lush demo. As you can see I'm not in my bathroom but I'm actually in my kitchen. This is because I'm actually reviewing one of the hot oil treatments from Lush. This is the Hair Doctor hot oil treatment. It is actually got the same ingredients as the original pot treatment which I used to be absolutely obsessed with and they took that off the market for quite a long time and it made me really upset and then a few months ago they brought it back as a hot oil treatment which they started doing in 2014. Mark Constantine was inspired by hot chocolate sticks that you get these days and he thought if you can do that with hot chocolate then you can definitely do that with hair care products. So here he is, Mr. Hair Doctor. As you can see, he's a solid oil product on a stick and you've actually got the instructions written on the stick. So I've already boiled the kettle, so I've got my mug ready, like so. And I'm gonna start pouring some whoop, hot water in. About halfway should be enough. And yeah, it's just a case of I'm going to be stirring for quite a little while. Melt time was actually a lot quicker than I was expecting. And this is the consistency of the oil treatment. To be honest, I did put a little bit too much water in there uh, than they would recommend, but actually this is a consistency that I like. I like a more liquid consistency. I'm also recognising a lot of the smell from the original Hair Doctor, so the peppermint especially. I'm getting quite a lot of peppermint vibes from here, and that herbal scent that I recognise with Hair Doctor. I used to use Hair Doctor before when I was bleaching my hair to death when I was going rainbow and I swore by the original. The original was actually kept in the fresh section of Lush, so in with the face masks. I don't know why they got rid of that version but this is the version that I've got now. I do have to say as well that... The old hot oil treatments actually took a lot longer to melt and they were a lot more clumpy and gross and I didn't really like them and I wasn't really into them. I did try them all but I couldn't stand them and I swore off them for a long time. So, which is why it's quite nerve wracking for me to come back to this. So I've actually allowed the hot oil treatment to cool down a little bit because I did obviously pour boiling water into it and I didn't want to put that straight on my head. So it has solidified, well sort of gelatinated a little bit, so it's a little bit thicker than it was but it's still at an easy enough consistency for me to actually apply this through the hair. So that's a good start. So I'm going to pop the stick to one side and I'm just going to get my hands in and get this all in my hair. Whoop! Here we go! Oh my goodness, it's actually getting a lot easier to apply than before. Again, I'm literally just combing this through the hair with my fingers. Oh, just went on my tights, but oh well. So yeah, as I've said, the hot oil treatments first came out in 2014. This is because when Mark Constantine went on holiday to, I believe it was France, and while they were there they were served 
hot chocolate that you had to make in a stick. Very much like the ones that have started to be sold over here in the UK quite recently, over the past few years. Um, I remember selling a lot of them when I was working at Wittard last Christmas actually. And yeah, so he loved the idea so much he decided that he wanted to use this as a brand new and innovative way of selling a hot oil treatment. So it would be easy to mix up and easy to apply and just generally easy. So they have gone through a bit of a rework last in the last year because people were actually having quite a lot of problems with them. I was one of them. That the products would be too thick or it would be too cloggy and it would I think one time it took me like two hours and six showers to get a hot oil treatment out of my hair which is not what I wanted um, so I and a lot of people actually complained and they just went back to the drawing board and came out with this they've also turned a lot of discontinued hair treatments into hot oils hair doctor being one of them. I'll actually put a list of the new hot oil treatments in the description below. Just make sure I get that massaged nicely. Oh yeah, if you do have any leftover hot oil treatment you can actually keep this in the fridge and use it another time. And I actually do have some leftover so I'm going to be keeping this what's left which is actually a good amount of it and I'm going to be popping that in the fridge or just to one side and I'll probably use that for the ends of my hair another day just make sure that's all lovely oops make sure that's all lovely and massaged into my hair and yeah I'm just gonna leave this for 20 minutes it recommends on the packaging to go off and have a nice bath and a book I'm just gonna go off and have a nice drink and just let this chill out and I will then hop in the shower and rinse all this off and let you guys know how I get on I've just got out of the shower, got my hair in my turban towel thing. I actually followed the instructions on the website which was to rinse it all out and then use your shampoo and that's it so it felt weird not using hair conditioner because I always use hair conditioner every time I wash my hair because I always find it's harder to brush when I don't use hair conditioner I may have not have mentioned this before but I have fine hair but a lot of it so I'm a bit of a conundrum guess all there is to do now is just blow dry my hair there goes nothing. So this is the finished result. As I said, I literally just used a shampoo that I already owned just to rinse out the hot oil treatment. I didn't add any conditioner. And I don't know if you can see, but just how shiny my hair is. And I can tell you that it feels absolutely phenomenal. It, sometimes when I feel like I, you know, I condition my hair after a treatment, I find that this hair feels quite clogged up. And it doesn't feel like this. It feels incredibly lightweight and gorgeous. It feels like my hair used to feel after hair doctor 
back when it was just in its original form as a hair mask. As far as I'm concerned, I was actually really, really um, sceptical, shall I say, about trying a hot oil stick again, especially after some of the grimmer experiences that I had with them back in 2015. But I can safely say to you guys that I give this product a huge thumbs up. My hair feels so good. In fact, it's feeling the best it's felt in a while and I'm not exaggerating. Um, I'm gonna give this a five stars. I didn't think I'd say that by the end of this video. I was expecting a solid three, maybe a four at a push, but no, this is definitely a five stars. I would say the best way to use these is that if you want a thicker consistency, add less water. I liked quite a thin consistency, so I filled my cup three quarters of the way up rather than halfway, as the product recommends. Um, I actually left mine in a little bit longer. I ended up leaving mine in for about half an hour, but I guess the longer the better really, but 20 minutes is the recommended amount. Um, and I strongly recommend not using conditioner afterwards. So just rinse out the hot oil treatment and shampoo as normal and that is literally all you need to do to get this fantastic result. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you've liked what you've seen, please like, comment and subscribe. And I, as I've said already, I will put the list of hot oil treatments in the description below. And yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.